Hello guys, full time at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal 4, Newcastle 1. So nearly Newcastle nil. They did get themselves a fluky little goal towards the end. Complete dominance yet again. Seven consecutive halves of Premier League football in which Arsenal have scored two or more goals. The first team, according to Opta, in Premier League history to achieve that feat. Amazing, we cannot stop scoring right now. I've got to say I was really confident coming into this one, partly because I've got a good mate, Simon, who's a Newcastle fan, and in the weeks leading up to this, he has been dreading it. He's been telling me, look, you're gonna tear us apart, you're gonna do, I think he used the phrase unspeakable things to us. Um, and I think he was right because this Newcastle team are somewhat more ragged than they have looked for some time. I know they've had a lot of injuries, but defensively they're all over the shop, which is quite amazing given that at one point in time they were the most organised team in the league, one of the most effective defences in the league. But, you know, they were down to their third choice goalkeeper tonight, other key personnel missing, and Arsenal took full advantage. It was clear what Newcastle might try and do. I think this fixture, there's always... Well, not always, but there has been a bit of needle in it recently. Think back to the nil-nil here uh, last season. That was quite tetchy, tensions running high. Um, think back to the one of the feet at St James's Park earlier this season where Arsenal fans felt very aggrieved about some of the officiating and the way the scoreline ultimately went. So there was a score to settle tonight and Arsenal did that emphatically. I think Eddie Howe would have watched Porto's performance in midweek seen some of the gamesmanship, seen some of the ways they ate up the clock and thought we can try some of those tactics. But of course there is one antidote to all that and it's an early goal. And Arsenal got it. Uh, it was an own goal in fact. It was a, uh, it was a uh, corner from Bukai Saka from the right hand side. Gabriel met it at the near post and the ball deflected into the net for an own goal. 2-0, Gabriel Martinelli was involved with a run into the penalty box. Jorginho found him with a little clip pass. Lovely pullback from Martinelli and Havertz scored a striker's goal. He played up front tonight and he was in the right place, right time there. Another goal, uh, 60 million down the drain. Kai Havertz scores again. 2 0 at half time. Arsenal looking very comfortable. One little threat from Almiron on the break, but he was offside uh, and Raya snuffed it out anyway. He was very clean, very comfortable at the back, Raya tonight. Come on! <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, all sitting pretty at half time. But we pushed on, you know, we got the third and with the fourth. Bukayo Saka probably again got the goal of the night. It feels like every game he scores the goal of the game. You know, doing that Bukayo Saka thing, having the ball on the right-hand side, cutting back onto his left foot, whipping it into the far corner. I think it went through a defender's legs. Um, but yeah, another goal for him. So productive. He's flying at this point in time. And what was good is that we could start to rest people like him, people like Odegaard, people like Martinelli. Even Kai Havertz got himself a rest. The likes of Reese Nelson, Eddie Nketiah, Mohamed Elneny. Making a rare appearance, Trossard getting on. And there was time for a fourth goal as well. Jakub Kivior uh, meeting Declan Rice's corner at the near post and it turning into the net. I think not the best goalkeeper perhaps, but Jakub Kivior won't mind at all. So that was 4 0. They got one back. Joe Willock, listen, if you had to pick a Newcastle goal scorer tonight, we ought to pick Joe Willock. Uh, nice moment for him. Got his head on the end of a cross and it looped over Ryer into the far corner. Might have come off his shoulder a bit. I'd need to see it again. But 4 1 at home is a really really emphatic win an outstanding result and uh, Arsenal's positive momentum continues and it's nice that the loss in Portugal uh, didn't derail things um, and you know we were able to kind of uh, get back to winning ways here in the Premier League and I think hopefully it shows what we might be able to do to a team like Porto in the home leg here obviously all eyes on the Premier League at this point in time I think I'm right to say we've got a bit of a layoff now, uh, maybe until Sheffield United. I'd have to check that, but yeah, this was a big week, you know. Uh, three big, big games. We won the two in the league. Okay, we lost the first leg in Europe. Disappointment there, but we've come through it without major injuries. Gabriel Jesus was back on the bench tonight. Thomas Partey not too far away. Tommy Asu not too far away. It does feel like in league terms, no one's playing better football than us right now. And we might just be peaking at the right time. It's going to be a really exciting end to the season in two competitions, I hope. Uh, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, another great win. Another load of goals. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video. Please subscribe. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.